Good morning, beautiful people. I'm here today, Shukwemeka, the Unified Igbo's now proponent. All right, I have questions, and these questions are hungry for answers, but only you can answer them. These questions, when answered, will help a lot. It will help in addressing a lot of misconceptions and misinformations regarding to our people who, by every opportunity they have, keep pointing to a certain origin. Now let's begin to ask these questions in order to find answers. First, At what point was the Aga Idu Noba, that is the Aga, the war of Idu Noba? At what point did people experience that, uh, that reverse migration all the way from the old? Benin Empire. At what point? Who are the people? Who are the people? Who were the component nations of people who were under that Benin, old Benin Empire? The Benin Empire was it only governing the people of Benin? If it wasn't only Benin people that was being governed during that era, during that old empire, who were the people? When that war happened, and the people went back. Why didn't the people went sojourned westward? Why did they sojourn eastwards? The people that sojourned eastwards, what was their languages? What was their original language and spirituality? We might find answers when we begin to press these questions. The reason why we must question every information, every historical information that is that we have, is to be able to determine determine the facts. The Unify Igbo's campaign is not a campaign of imposition, like a lot of people have accused us is not an expansionist agenda it's not a domineering agenda but rather a campaign to liberate the people and unite them with their kitten kings unite them as one people which historically they are the people that left the old Benin Empire, it is obvious that they had their original language even when under the imperialist old Benin. They were speaking their languages. They were practicing their culture. It is obvious that the old Benin Empire was not interested in or they were not alive to such agenda to change and obliterate the identity of the people. They were solely about political power and installation of traditional rulership. That is why I think 
we have a lot of influence in most of Igbo societies, in most of the Igbo uh, kingship, which also can be traced down to our nature. Iseluku and some parts of Ubuluku, Zelazaba, and Oba in River State. The people obviously are naturally the Igbo people. But because maybe, I repeat, maybe the old Benin Empire was not interested or they were not alive to the responsibilities of obliterating the people's culture and their languages. Let's take, for instance, the British Empire. The British Empire came in a formidable force, in a formidable manner, intentionally ready and intentionally pursuing the agenda of leaving an indelible mark on all their conquered territories by changing their language, changing the way they perceive themselves, changing their spirituality, and changing their culture entirely. And the effects of such imperialist agenda can still be found in our cultures. What was in the mind of the conquerors or the conquering Benin Empire? solely political and not about the spirituality of the people and not about the identity of the people and not about the language of the people. Same reason why we have the Ikas maintaining their culture, their spirituality, their names, the names of their towns. Same with the Ibanke. The Ibanke people that are found in Ohium on local government. And some part of, and some upon, they have maintained their culture, their names, and their spirituality. This leaves you with that same question that is begging for answers. At what point did the sojourning people who left the old Benin Empire during and after the Idu Noba War. Idu Noba. Who are the Idus? Who are the Obas? Idu Noba. Two different persons, two different entities, two different people. And why did the people from this side, the people that are speaking Igbo today, who we are under, who to today keep telling you they come from Benin. Why didn't they sojourn westward? Because they know who they are. Our ancestors are wise. They know where they belong. Well, I will leave you with these simple questions. If they are actually simple, which I know they are. Answer and liberate yourself. Thank you. I still remain your own faithfully Chukwemeka, the Unified Igbo's now proponent. Welcome.